Conquest of the Planet of the Apes is a 1972 sci-fi film directed by J. Lee Thompson and starring Roddy McDowell, Don Murray, Natalie Trundy, Hari Rhodes, Severin Darden, and Ricardo Montalban. The film is set 30 years ago. Happy Anniversary! Wow, the makeup budget really dropped in this one. But Armando hasn't aged a day. He quickly sums up the last movie in case you missed it and explains that apes were taken as pets but soon became slaves. But then when people realized how quick they were to learn, how easy to train, the pets became larger and larger. So they've been genetically altered. Caesar hands out flyers and I just realized the economy must be in the toilet since all these jobs have been taken over. No! 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 And I told them to condition them to fire. Caesar sees more and more and... Uh, lousy human bastard! <laughs> Armando attempts to cover for Caesar, but the cops aren't buying it, so they slip away in the ruckus. Armando plans to smooth things over and tells Caesar to wait for him as he goes to the cops, and if he doesn't come back, to go to the harbor and hide in an ape shipment. Because going to a harbor worked so well in the last film, Armando gets questioned, and then it turns to this. Two talking apes arrived on Earth and conceived a baby whose survival could have threatened the future of the entire human race. Why would you bring this up now? Or so it was believed, Mr. MacDonald. However, ever since this morning, I'm beginning to wonder if they shot the right baby. This guy's even more paranoid than Eric Braden. And Armando is staying, so Caesar goes to blend in and get shipped off in a truck. This guy really likes his job. <laughs> Holy shit! Sharing is caring. It's a drawing! Where's the soap? Caesar's too good at this. Attention training control. Four females have arrived for insemination. Sexy time! Then Caesar gets auctioned off, being purchased by the governor. He gets trained as a bartender. I now know this is the cocktail reimagining we all need right now. Caesar is then sent to another job where he is handed a red piece of paper. Meanwhile, with Armando... What does the authenticator do? Makes people tell the truth. It's quite painless. Fuck that, and there's a struggle, and he exits through this window. Caesar overhears about the death and is pissed. So he instantly begins building a rebellion. The governor demands a roundup of the disobedience list. Then a discrepancy in a manifest comes up. Mr. McDonald, it is imperative that you get to a phone. Come in, Mr. McDonald, do you hear me? Could you imagine if this dude had text messages? Caesar reveals that he's the guy, and McDonald lets him flee as the Gestapo arrives. Then he's immediately captured. They torture him to get him to talk, and then decide to just fucking kill him. Aren't I a stinker? And Caesar gaslights him into thinking he's dead. Surprise! It's revolution time! They bust the apes out of ape management, and who's afraid of fire now, bitch? There's a standoff in the square where the apes take control, then they go inside the building. Communication center, there's no defense here! If we lose this battle, that's the end of the world as we know it! And I feel fine! They break into the control room, sparing McDonald and going outside. What you have seen here today Apes on the five continents will be imitating tomorrow. With knives against guns, with kerosene cans against flamethrowers. Where there is fire, there is smoke. Roddy McDowell is so fucking good in this scene. 
and he spares the governor, proving that he can be better than them. At this point, we're looking at a prequel and a sequel. It's an okay entry in the series as we continue to build what happened to get to the point of the first film. It's very fast paced with Caesar experiencing his first trip to the city and then immediately leading a revolution. The humans are way over the top, but Roddy McDowell is once again the big standout in this film. His performance is definitely worth watching this one.